Lewis, what a great opportunity to be in Southern Ireland. I think we're still in Europe. Just about, I believe, Mark. Now, talking about just about, these grog machines, these are the first machines in Southern Ireland. You're working with a rower on this automation cell, which I understand it yet again. This is a, a turnkey package that is very unique and the first in Southern Ireland, DPF Engineering in Carlo. Tell us a little bit about the journey, Lewis. Yes, obviously it's been a, a, a market that we've been wanting to tap into for, for a while. As Grob UK, we support UK and Southern Ireland. So to have these two machines into, into Carlo is very, very good for us. Uh, and we've started the journey. We've now got two further orders from aerospace companies within the Southern Ireland bracket in Europe. Um, and we see that growing throughout the years. Well, I was talking to Seamus actually. You know, this is just the first stage, isn't it? Yes, this is two machines on the Aroa cell with 40 pallets uh, and there's phase two and three of uh, extending the line to up to five machines, uh, all for titanium and aluminium aero structure work, basically. Well, it's quite interesting being here today because the, the machines are obviously uh, starting to cut. Uh, the Euroa system actually ha has been commissioned as well and, and the guys are actually having training. So, you know, th there's going to be more scope here, isn't there? Yeah, for sure, for sure. Um, the workload that Chambers has got for these machines is getting bigger and bigger, so we see the phases of the, the, the additional machines coming fairly quickly. Uh, when you look at a global market, I mean aerospace is so key for, for many companies and traditionally you guys are very strong in other areas. I, I presume this, this is where you're going to succeed even further for the future, isn't it? Particularly in the UK, Mark, we see the aerospace industry as a, as a key market for us. Automotive obviously is a, a key market for, for Grob worldwide but in the UK, automotive and aerospace is where we, we see the futures. Now, I've had the privilege to be at Mindelheim, you know, one of the largest manufacturing machines in one site. I mean, it, it blew me away, to be fair, but your TAS centre is something quite special, isn't it? It is. We've got all manner of machines set up to do aluminium demonstrations, titanium demonstrations, uh, small parts, the large parts, and we've also got an open house coming up in March, Mark, so from the 18th to the 21st, uh, we're looking to invite customers from the UK and Ireland to join us at our open house in Mindelheim. Now, the type of machines you've got in there and some of the automation as well, it, it, it's just quite turnkey. But what I like about your, your uh, end products, they're not just demo products, but you've also got actually pieces from your own customers, haven't you? Yes, our own customers and our own workpiece. We use Grob machines to make Grob machines. So we've got many different automation solutions set up within our facility making our own machines and additionally at the open house we're having partners for automation tooling work holding all under one roof to bring that turnkey solution together and is there spaces for engineers to actually come over with you in march for sure yeah we're looking to bring a number of uk customers to the, to the uh, open house and we're looking to bring maybe five companies as a, an expense trip to to Mindelon. And I think what's key uh, to, to make sure that uh, engineers know about Grob is that you are a, a turnkey solution provider, aren't you? You're not just actually, you know, there's a basic machine, you will put a whole concept in place. We'll put the concept in place, so we look from conception through to the end, basically. We like to be close to the customer, we make sure the m machine is fit for purpose and fit for the parts that the, the uh, customer is looking at. And I know with the MD Seamus here at DPF Engineering, I mean, he's very, very pleased with what he's got. Um, you know, he's hitting the marketplace hard. I've got capacity, he's winning uh, more work. And also, yeah, he's got room to put uh, maybe two or three machines in here. Yes, the, the, the cell is extendable. So we're two machines presently, and he's got space to put up to five machines on, on this line, which we think will come fairly quickly. So future quite bright for Grob globally? We believe so. It's a changing market and we've got the machines to, to captivate that market as well, so we hope so. An automation key? Very much so. Lights out production is where we uh, the phone rings for, basically. So, yeah, automation uh, and also the right solution with work holding is very important. I think there's a magic word at a row, isn't there? 8,760 hours in a spindled life in a year. That's correct, Mark, and we like to look at multiples of that.